Coach, how would you uh, sum up that game so far? Good, good game. Uh, played, played the game the right way. Scored first. Um, had some good shutdown defense. Taryn pitched a great game. I thought our team had a good like presence about them. We stayed tough when we need to stay tough. Um, they answered right after we scored, and that could have been a you know scary moment. Um, just knowing what um, that team's offense is capable of doing, but I thought we executed well offensively. I thought we played like Husky softball, meaning like we played as a team and we stuck together through the tough times, and that's what it's going to take for us. Yeah, I was just trying to see a pitch so that I could handle and um, score early, have my team's back, have Taryn's back. Uh, our plan, uh, is uh, what Mia Davidson did, uh, was able to accomplish against Gabby playing in February have any impact on who you decided to throw today? Uh, I just think we have two good arms that we knew even going into the series or the game when we played down in Puerto Vallarta. I mean, we knew that it was potentially a team that we can match up with down the road, so um, not really. <laughs> Taryn, how much did uh, just pitching and this defense help set the tone for you guys just throughout the game? Pulling all of them one run. Um, I mean, that's just Husky softball. It's how we play. It's how, you know, our standards that we hold for ourselves. And, um, you know, it's, it's a nice feeling to know that I mean, not nice giving up a home run, but to be able to look at my teammates and look at my coaches and be like, oh, okay, like we got this, we're fine. Like, don't freak out. Um, it's part of the game and there's strong hitters and I throw hard, so sometimes it just happens. Um, but knowing that we were fine was kind of what just set our tone, I guess, yeah. And what's this part of like, we just wait and see who you guys are gonna play tomorrow. I mean, you've done this before, so you know kind of what to expect, but just, what's this process like, just the waiting and seeing um, it's just we'll wait to hear, I guess, and then we'll assess and move forward at that point. Um, we're taking care of ourselves. We're doing what we need to do to make sure we're there tomorrow and all in. Did you remember that Davis had three home runs the last time you guys played it? Did you her today or not? Yeah. Like, I mean, she had it, and that's awesome that she did that and whatever, but that was preseason and if we continue to dwell on things that happened in the past when we don't grow from it so just keeping our head down and moving forward this is the second game in a row that the lineup has really sparked it early in the game especially mm -hmm. what's it been like to get them rolling and then have that flow down the rest of the way. yeah i just think it's important that the, the the like the best players on the team do the things that the best players do and sis and morgan did that today um the best part about our team though is that Sis and Morgan don't have to do that all the time for us to win games. And But for them to lead us these last two games in those ways says a lot about them and um, where we're going, what we're trying to do. Coach, um, what do you tell those who haven't been through this process, as you, especially when you're waiting? Um, what kind of things do you tell the team um, that you do as a team to kind of keep things alive and going? Yeah, I think just the biggest part about this game is that it's so routine oriented but within that there aren't exact like set times and times that you play so you have to learn to get over it move on and then get to the next game in a way that you know that you can work backwards to get your funnel in to be where you need to be when you need to be there so this team's been doing that all year and that's why we play the games that we play leading up to this point um, we've had a lot of night games but it does feel it will feel like a long time we talked about that a little bit from this point till tomorrow morgan i think i talked about score do you think you're enjoying it more not doing it last year have this kind of success in the postseason not being able to do it last year yeah i mean last year happened but um i think it was the best thing like our team showed what we can do uh Husky softball is the best thing to be a part of, and I'm just glad to be here with my teammates again.